right, so before we end this playthrough, there's actually one more thing we have to do. There's one more thing we have to do. And this is like, this is supposed to be like a secret ending that you get when you finish, uh, when you finish the, the Indigo Disc DLC. You're supposed to head to the to the mountaintop where you're supposed to head to the to the Kitakami Spring or that lake that's at the top of the mountain. So we're gonna go back there. Mind you, this is after you get the Violet Book. Crystal pool, right? You're supposed to go to the. Uh... To the wharf right there. And you see it when you get the. Um... You see when you get here. Yeah, right here, when you get the Violet book from the teacher at Blueberry Academy after beating the Indigo disc. I think some, some special ending is supposed to happen right here. Oh, those Terrapagos. Well, now, this is a curious development. Have I somehow broken through the boundaries of space and time? And who are you? Have we met? I'm sorry, but it doesn't seem like I recall it. I'm Professor Turo. I researched for Pokemon in Area Zero, and yet... What? This Pokemon... Is this the Iron Serpent? Is that right? So his name is Maridon. That's a good name. From the clues you, you've already left off, I suppose I'll have to conclude. From my perspective, this must be the future. Of course, the complexities of space and time are beyond count. It's possible our encounter might not even be might not even be occurring in a timeline connected to my own. Perhaps this meeting is nothing more than a fleeting miracle. Why don't we exchange as much useful data as we can? And in a little time fate has gifted us. Oh, he wants a battle. Trying to switch on Pokemon. Uh, is there anything you would like to ask me? I'm researching methods to catch Pokemon that live in different timelines, so I might transport them in the present day in my own timeline. Sounds fantastical, no doubt, but I'm drafting plans for a machine that may achieve it. You see, this book captured my imagination when I read it as a child and has never let go, but progress has been slow and beset by failures, and I, have, I haven't left my lab in quite some time now. I desperately hope that I might glean some new insight from this conversation so I can finally make some progress and return home. Is there anything else you would like to ask me? Uh, oh, you even wish to know about my private life? I do have a family, a son. He's probably at home right now, I don't know. I suppose right now would be inaccurate. Whenever, wherever he is, I imagine he might be quite lonely. precisely know the cause. I was analyzing some recent data in my secret lab one moment and the next I was standing here before you. Perhaps this is influence of the crystal Pokemon that lies dormant in that place or perhaps the cause lies with you and I. Now let's trade places in this exchange. 
I'd say the time has come for my own questions. Which is this place? It doesn't appear to be anywhere in Paldea. So when Kitty comes crystal pool, huh? I remember reading about it in certain texts. It's said to be a place where water wells up from the ground and viewing with ter terrestrial energy. It would seem that I've been shifted quite far from both space and time. My next question then. That Pokemon you had, the Iron Serpent, I mean Maridon. Tell me more about it. Really? I wonder once it came, how did it arrive at that beach? Though it appears you don't have much of the exact origin yourself. And that book you have there, I don't recognize it. What cover is it? The Hidden Treasure of Area Zero. Would you let me see that for a moment? Descriptions of the Area Zero under deaths in the records of Terra Pagos' awakening. Who is this Briar who has written such work? She's a descendant of Heath. Now isn't that something? Descendant of the author of the original Violet book. Exploration runs in the family, I see. At any rate, that is a book I would ignite the imagination of any true scientist. I'm sorry, but I must simply have the t I simply must have the time to read the book more thoroughly. Oh, the mist is closing once again. I assume this means our time is near its end. I wish I could spend longer getting to know the Iron Serpent, but I must hurry. That book, I imagine, must be quite valuable. It wouldn't feel right for me to claim it without offering you any correspondence. In exchange, then, though I'd hate to part with something so precious to me, would you consider trading me that book for a copy of the Violet Book? I appreciate this more than you can imagine. Perhaps I should take this chance to go home and enjoy a bit of downtime with a good book. This is where we part fellow adventurer Iron Serpent. How lucky we are to meet across space and time. Bid you adieu. That was literally the end of Pokemon Violet. That was like the actual ending. You know what, I'm curious, before we end this stream, I need to know, since we got this book, does it mean we take it to Miss Briar and she'll Let's see if Miss Briar has anything. See if that triggers anything. She's even in here. She is not. She don't know where to be found. Oh, yeah. 
Bastard, yeah. Check all this stuff out later. Gotta find this Briar or whatever she might be. Is it nobody clever? I thought maybe she would be in here. I'm gonna have to check the cafeteria. She's not up in here. Not a school store. Let's go check the entrance. That was officially it. So I'm still just putting some real effort into self improvement, especially kids to give it their all. Because the snacks, these snacks are very special treats. teacher might be. Well, regardless of wherever she is. The game is officially finished. So that was it. We did the Indigo Disc DLC. We did the Ace Tournament. All the dialogue in between. And we did the the epilogue as well as the secret ending with Professor Turo. So I think that wraps up the entirety of Pokemon Violet. I mean, of course, of course there's a bunch of post-game content you can do. Um, find another Pokemon. Uh, trading with friends. You know, the adventure never ends when it comes to Pokemon. So, that being said, I'm going to end this playthrough of Pokemon Violet. Um, we've done everything as far as the main story, the secret endings. And... Um, we finally got the event to work. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Peace, and I will see you guys next time for more video game playthroughs.